In this video, we're going to run through an example project of using an Express application with Fusion Auth for authentication and Surplus for authorization. We started by cloning the repo from the Surplus GitHub, and the first we need to do is get everything up and running. So this stack is running four containers, and we're orchestrating this using Docker Compose, so you'll need to have Docker set up. But the four containers are Fusion Auth itself, which is a, a self-hosted authentication system, uh, the Cerberus Policy Decision Point, or the Cerberus PDP. This is the Cerberus engine that makes all the decisions around authorization based on your policies. Uh, we have a simple node app with some express uh, handles in it. And then there's a Postgres database as well, running uh, and connected for Fusion Auth. To give you a quick run you through the uh, project and repo structure, our app folder here contains our express app, and we'll have to update some variables and configuration in there in a minute. Our service folder contains the uh, service configuration and most importantly, the uh, policies. So we have a simple policy here for accessing and updating contacts. Um, the DB folder is just a uh, where the Postgres database will store its files once we start it up and Fusion Auth um, has its, uh, the Fusion Auth uh, configuration properties. Uh, you won't need to change this. So our Docker Compose is set up to run the four containers I mentioned previously and mounts those paths um, as you should and passes around some uh, uh, configuration variables. You won't need to change anything here either. So all that in place, just launch your terminal, make sure you're in the folder of your repo, and then just run docker compose up. Now this will take a little while to get up and running. Um, it has to bootstrap the database, pull down the images. Uh, Fusion Auth itself takes a minute or so to, to launch. Um, but once it's up and running, you'll see at the bottom a message that says server started. And there we go, we can see the message saying server starts up from the Fusion Auth container. So the first thing we need to do is actually go and uh, finish setting up our Fusion Auth instance and create our demo application for authentication reasons. So if we hit localhost port 9011, uh, this should pull up the uh, uh, Fusion Auth web UI after a little while. And here we're just gonna go and set up a sort of uh, the admin account for uh, our Fusion Auth instance. Uh, this is obviously all a local instance, so we don't need to worry about being too secure because um, it's for prototype purposes. Accept the Fusion Auth license, uh, and off it goes. So this bootstraps essentially your admin account in Fusion Auth, and the now we need to go through and create the application uh, that we want to authenticate through uh, uh, Fusion Auth. So each app, if you're familiar with OAuth 2, will have a, a, a client ID, and this is kind of your application. Um, so we're going to go through and create a Cerberus demo application. So I'm in the application section, press add, uh, and then give it a name. So we're gonna call this Cerberus demo. Um, we wanna give it some roles. So we wanna have like an admin role, and that'll be like a super user. And we want a user role, which would be our regular users. We'll make it default. So if you were to enable registration, that's what everyone will get. And we could also go and add in other roles, for example, like an editor, um, and, that, and that will get it all set up. The next thing you do is in the OAuth tab, uh, we need to set the callback uh, URL or the redirect, authorized redirect URLs. So if we go back to our readme, um, our node application is set up to have an endpoint called slash auth slash callback that will be used during the authentication flow for the session uh, to be created and the, the uh, user profile to be, to be kind of loaded in. So we want to add that in here. Um, there we go. And so when a user is taken from the app to their Fusion Auth uh, login screen to authenticate, they'll be sent back to this callback URL. Um, and that's everything we need to go uh, to get up and running. So we'll save that one. So this now creates the application. As you can see, it's got an idea, it's got a few roles, etc. And now we need to go and update our Express application to point to this uh, application. So there's two bits of information we need. If we go to the view button here, and um, it will pull up uh, all the information about this app and the bits we need to add are the client ID and the client secret. So we'll grab the client ID back in our code editor inside of our app, index.js. Right at the top, there's two fields with this comment that you have to update with your unique references. This will be uh, different for you because it's randomly generated each time um, and paste it in here. With all that done, um, behind the scenes, the uh, container will have restarted. We can confirm this in the logs. You can see it's uh, restarted and it's listening on port 8080. And it's also talking to the service container on 
3592. So the final thing we need to do before we start logging into our application is we need to actually go and add the users to our new service demo application inside of Fusion Award. So users are independent to which applications they are attached to and can log into in the Fusion Org UI. So to do this, we're just going to add the kind of the root account that you created as a, uh, a user for um, our service demo application. So we're going to go and manage my account here. I'm going to add a registration and I'm going to say, add it to my service demo account. And I'm going to give myself the admin role and we'll save that. So that's done. Now I'm basically saying that Alex at serverbus.dev is allowed to log into the serverbus demo app. But equally, we can go and create some other users and also add them um, uh, to, to the application. So if you hit localhost port 8080, uh, you should see this Fusion North example screen. It says, welcome to Fusion North. Uh, press login. It bounces over to the Fusion North uh, login screen, which your users will see. It's going to log in with my kind of root account. And I click submit. And now we bounce back and now it says, hi, Alex. And it says, I have the roles admin, which is what I assigned myself. So this now means that we have the user profile inside of our node application. That exchange has been done with the Fusion Auth server. And inside our node app, node app, we can actually go and use this uh, profile information to go and check authorization. So back in our node app, um, we, there are some endpoints further down here that actually show you an example of how to go and call out uh, to, to servos. So there's this root called slash contact slash ID, where ID is a parameter, and the logic is pretty simple. Uh, we go and fetch the contact by its ID from the database. If it's not found, we obviously throw an error. Uh, and now we're going to do the check to Serverless. So we have the Serverless uh, node package installed here, and there's a simple Serverless.check call. And we need to pass in three bits of information. We need to pass in information about the principal, and we expect the ID and the roles. So the request.session.user.id is being populated from that Fusion Auth user profile. So we've attached to the uh, server side session about this user, its ID and the roles. So in my case, my ID is an ID and my roles are uh, is currently just a singular role of admin. We then need to pass in the information about the resource. So we're saying this is a, a resource of type contact and we're just passing in the instance and the attributes about that contact to Servos and then Servos um, needs to know what actions I want to take. In this case, I'm just saying I want to read. So when that request comes in, uh, it extracts the information about the user, it gets the resource that they that the principal is trying to access and the action is going to do. That request will go off to Servos. Servos will then evaluate it based on the policies. And then we're simply saying, if uh, I'm authorized to do the read action on that particular contact ID, then return the contact, I also return a 403 and an authorized message. So if we try that in practice, if I go and hit the contact URL uh, and grab a sample URL, you can see it's returned uh, the contact, which means I am authorized, which makes sense as I'm admin, but we can confirm this in the logs. We can see here express the service container has actually got the request through and has evaluated it and returned it back to the user for access. So with that, we have taken a node application with Express, we've added authentication via Fusion Auth, and then we're using Servos to actually authorize access to individual uh, resources within our application based on the user profile that comes from Fusion Auth. As with everything you see today, you can find more on servos.dev and also github.com slash servos for all the repos. Um, feel free to join our Slack community. Uh, and give, give me a message anytime we can get help. Thanks.